Hello, lesson 12, Krav Maga classes online. So, three quarters of the way through the entire course, okay, by the end of this session. So, well done for getting this far. We're on the home stretch now, like I said before in the previous session. Things are starting to become a bit more compressed. We're doing more techniques uh, as we're revising the stuff that we've already done, uh, adding new stuff in still, but heading towards the point where we will have completed the entire course in just four more sessions, okay? So get yourself nicely warmed up, get ready to start. Okay, good. Feet together, turn to both sides. Burn, and jogging on the spot. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Nice and relax through the shoulders. Back to forwards and backwards. Side to side. And jogging. On back to the side, rolling the wrists forwards. And backwards. Arms forwards. At the back, breathing in, at the front, breathing out. At the front, breathing in, at the back, breathing out. And jumping. Okay, jumping jacks with me. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Jogging. Twist slam. And jogging. Once they fall onto the back, palms up. Up forwards. Okay, push it forward, always the hands coming back to the shoulders. And punches. Arm strikes, finger strikes, punches, any combination. Start to extend the feet now, so it's a longer, more rotated strike. And jogging. Twist again. And jogging. Okay, we'll sit down, drop down, sit up, go up. Down. Down. Up. Up. 
Up time. Turn up. Up time, up time. Turn up, turn up. Okay, set your hands to the left, okay. your chest looking down. And up. And down. And up. To the right. And the left. To the right. And left. Up to the right. Turn to the left. Up to the right. Turn to the left. Up to the left. Turn to the right. Up to the left. Turn to the right. Hands on the hips, tilt the hips up the front, up the right, up the back, and the left. Okay, keep going around. And we're using your core, mobilizing the waist of your spine, stretching out those stubborn muscles back the other way. Okay, feet together, head up, back straight, bend the knees. So looking forwards, make sure you can feel the stretch on the base of your calf there. Okay, rotating clockwise, and then anti-clockwise. Okay, bouncing your left foot, bring your right knee up parallel to the floor, rotating clockwise, and clockwise. Looking to your right, balance, and push the leg out, rotating clockwise, then anti clockwise. Foot back down, bounce the right foot, left knee up, rotating clockwise, anti clockwise. Looking to the left, push and balance, rotate foot clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Foot back down again. Okay, jogging. Keep breathing down. Okay, bounce it down. Here we go, bend the knees, knees to the elbows. One press up, and up. Down. So make sure to bring your knees right to your elbows. Down. Okay, so we're right, get ready. Down. Down. And down. Dummy. This time I want to sit down. You going down? Yeah. Right leg underneath the left. Come up. Go up position. Down. Say down, same thing, you're gonna come up, left leg underneath, we're gonna come up, rotate the opposite direction, facing there and guard. Get ready. 
sure as you turn into your left that your left arm's coming up into that guard position. Do. Do. Okay, jogging. Okay, once they go, go back to the left leg, bring it right knee up to the elbow for count ten. Okay, with me. Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and side. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Jogging. Okay, so I can go to the left. Go! Change! And jogging. Okay, this time, back to your left leg, kicking your right leg for count of ten. Okay, get ready. Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Jogging. Second round to the left, go. Keep breathing going. Change. Change. And jogging. Okay, stop there. Shake your legs out, press up position. We're going to do 10 press ups on my cool. When we do the press ups, as we come up, take one hand, touch the opposite shoulder, okay? To start off with, as we come up, take a left hand, touch the right shoulder. For count of 10, on me. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, on your backs. 20 wood chops. Off you go. straight, down six inches off the floor, okay? So get ready, feet, six inches off the floor, one, and then, two, three, 
Try and keep his legs straight. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay. Up with it using your hands. Bit of a circuit. <coughs> Take direction. Take direction. Okay. Before we go and do a little circle, when well, I say down, give me a down, one press up, up, and front kick. Circling up to the direction, then I stay down again. You come up and you kick with the other legs. So we're going to start off coming up, kicking with the left. Second time, we're going to kick with the right. All right, so when we do this, I'm going to do it like we're doing a normal burpee. So we stop, knees down, feet back, one press up, and you come up from this position here. Okay, I want you to explode here into the kick rather than standing up. And then kicking is part of how you get up, all right? So, second to the left first, do the press up, and uh, kicking to the right foot, okay? So, get ready. Go. Down. So, in the opposite direction. Down. Right. 
Lovely, okay, good work. So, take a breather for a minute or two, grab a drink, and relax. Sit, walk around, have a drink, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Revision. Inverted punching and spinning back fist. Okay, so first of all, inverted punching from guard position. So here in our normal guard position, here as we punch. Inverted fist, inverted fist. The body motion and rotation from the hip stand is almost identical to that of a normal jab and cross. Okay, so we're here, jab, cross. Okay, from the hip stand, jab, cross. Okay. The thing is when you're doing it, it may be that your, your, your hands are here. Okay, so you might be sort of in a half guard or an almost guard or whatever position you happen to be in. But your hands are sort of here. For you to strike forward and then rotate your hand all the way down, or all the way around, sorry, is uh, time consuming. So here, there, is a, is a much more direct strike. Now, when you're practicing it, you just practice it from guard, just like normal, okay? The only normal guard position, there, there, okay? Normal guard position, there, there, okay? Here. Always the hand is traveling directly towards the target. These are direct strikes, but there's no curve to them. Okay, in this position here, the hand is moving directly forwards and striking with the two big knuckles. Here is what it strikes towards. Uh, think about your rotation, keep your body up vertical. Okay, there's no rotation, sort of throwing your hips out. There, there, okay. There isn't that ever such a slight tuck uh, with the hips, but you're keeping your, your head up, you're not leaning your head to either side. Okay, we're here, there, as opposed to there. So there's just a, perhaps a little bit more rotation to get that elbow right the way around to there. Bear in mind also that just like the, the normal straight punch, as you contact, the knuckles are likely to be 45 degrees. So here. <sighs> There. It's only when the full rotation is when this is going to happen. All right. Try to avoid uh, 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 an arching of the back. Keep your body forward here. Well, there. Rear hand. There. Okay. So that's the first one. That's the inverted punch. Spinning back fist from guard. Okay should be more strictly as a spinning hammer fist. So we're here, I'm rotating, I'm looking over my shoulder, I'm turning, I'm seeing target, bang, okay? I'm back into guard. So I'm here, turning, rear heel, okay, we've talked about this before. So heel rotates, turning, heel rotates, looking, stepping and striking, okay? So rear heel moves first, there. Now I'm starting to rotate. Rear heel goes round. Now I'm looking, stepping through, 
and strike. Okay, so you're here. In guard now. So rear heel, lead heel. Starting to look, step through and strike. Okay. So rear heel, rotating, lead heel, stepping through, looking and striking. So here, one, two, turn and look, strike. Okay, so with me, this is what we're gonna do. When I say inverted punch, one, it's gonna be a jab. Inverted punch, two, it's gonna be a cross. Back fist, it's gonna be here, bang. Okay, so inverted punch, one, inverted punch, two, back fist. Okay, so nice and easy, nice and slow, with me. Inverted punch, one. Inverted punch, two. Back fist. And again. Inverted punch, one. Inverted punch, two. Back fist. Inverted punch, one. Inverted punch, two. Back fist. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to say one, two, or back fist in any order. Okay, so nice and easy with me, and it's going to be slow and relaxed, just focus on the technique. Okay, so one, two, back fist, back fist, two, one. One, back fist. One, two, two, back fist. Okay, lovely. Okay, so I'm gonna carry on doing that, and all I want you to do is to start off and go one, two, back fist, one, two, back fist. Do that three times, okay? And then just in your own time, you're just gonna vary it, okay? Do a few back fists, do a few punches, but just focus on the inverted punch, jab and cross, and then the back fist. Uh, just on the back fist, as a, a minor thing, I want you to lead with your elbow, okay, while I'm thinking about it. So here, I'm rotating here, I'm looking, I want you to lead with the elbow here. Okay. If you have your elbow too low when you do this, there's no power to it, okay? You want to lead with your elbow as you're turning, like this, boom. You might find, as you've rotated, that your attack has come closer to you. Okay, it's a way of turning, bang, okay, hitting with the elbow. So we're going to be here, All right, let's look from this side, okay, so we're here, heel, rotating, looking elbow, up, bang, there. So we're leading with the elbow and swinging with the shoulders, and the hammer fist comes through. All right, so just think like that is uh, when, when, we, when you're doing it, so you're here, one, boom, two, boom, back fist, turning, lead the elbow, strike. Okay? Okay, good. Off you go.
Technique 1. Defending against an upwards or downwards knife strike from two step distance. Okay, we talked about distances before. So in terms of knife attacks, this here, if this is my target here, that's no step range, so very, very close. This here is one step range. I can't start from this distance. I have to step in and strike. This is further away, okay, one step. I still can't strike, so I have to one, two, to make the target, okay? So this is from a two step distance, so you have uh, a little bit more time. Okay, so. Okay, so, when you go to two step distance, depending on uh, how soon you see the move, you have the choice of stepping forward and striking, okay, or just being from this position and striking, okay. So when you step forward and strike, you're stepping forwards here, bang, you know, throwing your hips in. Uh, if you're not, you're still throwing your hips in, but as they're stepping forward, you're judging the distance and, and you're moving in. Now, Obviously this is for the, for the uh, Cool Skills course, so it's not just the kick. We need to add something else into it. So, we're in this position here. We're imagining it's a downwards knife strike with the right hand. Okay, so we're gonna be defending with our left with the 360. However, the kick is the important part. We're aiming for the, uh, the solar plexus or the head. So we're coming in here, the solar plexus, or to the head, all right? So, as we're doing it, we're throwing our hips forward. So here, boom, this hand comes up in a guard, okay. Obviously the knife's there, so I want to be sure that even if I catch him after he's started doing the, um, the, the, the knife attack, that I still have my defense here. So, we're starting to off like this. One, my hand's up in the 360, all right. So we're going to be here. One, bang, I'm striking. As I come down, I'm punching to the head with a piston punch, okay. They're going to grab, striking up, and a hammer fist to the back of the head. All right. So we're here, coming in, kicking, boom, guard is up. Okay, striking, knee in, hammer fist down. Okay, here, kicking, boom, guard up, striking, grabbing hold, knee in, hammer fist. Okay, so I'm stepping forward, it's exactly the same thing. Step forward. The hand is starting to come up in the guard, okay? So stepping forward, bang, stepping down, punch, grab, knee, hammer fist, okay? So again, stepping forwards, guards coming up, kicking, punching, going with shoulder, knee in, hammer fist, all right? Upwards knife strike, exactly the same thing. We're here. Kicking, oh, this hand is in this position here. Okay, so the knife is coming up, boom, like this. Okay, so we're there. Bam. And defending. Punching, grabbing, wrapping, hammer fist. So, and again, one, boom. Oh. Okay, so we're there, we step down, punching, wrapping, hammer fist, back of the head. Here, I want to step side. So here, boom, striking, okay, there's my defense. Grabbing and wrapping, knee in, going down, hammer fist on the back of the head. Stepping, exactly the same thing. Again, as you step, you're gonna bring this arm here, just in case your, your, your timing is poor, and then you're, then you're maintaining your, your defense. See here, boom, stepping down, as you step down, you strike, wrap, and exactly the same. So we're here. All right, so, nice and easy, nice and slow. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do one, two, three, four, okay? So one is attacks coming down from the top, no stepping forward. So we're gonna do this. One, guard up, 
step down and punch, okay, grab, skip in, knee strike, followed by hammer fist. So, just follow me, so with me, one, kick, step forward and punch, okay, grab the shoulder, skip in, knee strike, step back, and hammer. And again, one, stepping down and punch, grab the shoulder, knee strike in, step down and hammer. Okay, now when I say two, it's step forward, guard starts to come up, step forwards, kick, punch, grab, knee and hammer, exactly the same. Okay, so with me, two, and again, two, okay, so, now I'm going to do the upwards, uh, the upwards life strikes. It's going to come up. Again, this one, the first one, there's no step. So when I say three, I'm going to go here. Three, punch, wrap and grab, knee in, and hammer fist. Okay, so it's going to be three, punch, wrap and grab, knee, hammer fist. Okay, so with me. Three. Up and grab, hammer fist. And again, three. Striking, wrapping and grabbing, and hammer fist. Now, four, finally. Step, guard starts to come up. Kick, punch, wrap and grab, knee, hammer fist. Okay, so four. Step, kick, punch, wrap and grab, knee, and hammer fist, okay? So with me, four. Four. Good, right, so, with me, we're gonna do one, two, three, four. Nice and easy, nice and slow. One, downwards strike, no step. Two, downwards strike, step. Three, upward strike, no step. Four, upward strike, uh, with a step. Okay, so nice and easy, nice and slow, with me. One. Two. Three. Four. And again, one, two, three, and four. Good, okay, so practice on your own, do three of each, so it feels comfortable, so three, Downward strike, no step. Three, downward strike, a step. Three, uh, um, upward strike, no step. And three of upward strike with one step, okay? Do that whole 12, make sure it's nice and fly, nice and comfortable. And then do the 12 again, and just speed it up a little bit so that you're getting comfortable with it. Try and breathe once for the whole technique, okay? So that you help it uh, to get one technique flowing the next, okay? Good, off you go.
And stop there. Counter kicking. So, with counter kicking, what we're doing is as somebody goes to strike us, we're kicking them. Okay? Uh, a lot of the time we talk about in crowd, we talk about uh, simultaneous defense and attack wherever possible. Okay? It's never always possible. Okay? But wherever possible, we try and make the same things happen at the same time because it's the most efficient option. So in this situation, we're going to be, uh, imagine we're in a front-on position, okay, and somebody goes to punch us, okay, we lean our body back, and as we lean our body back, we're going to kick, okay. Now it may be that at that range, it's not, it, it might be, oh, you know, you, you kick to the shin, as you, as you lean back, so you're kicking there. Or maybe if they've got one foot in front of the other, you lean back and kicking to the opposite knee, okay. But how we're going to practice it, just so that we get the, the idea of uh, our, our body going backwards. If we're going to be here, the shoulders are going to come back, okay, and we're going to kick. Then we guard up at the same time. Okay, shoulders back, guard up, kick. Imagine that we could quite easily step forward and strike afterwards. So we're going to be here, in this position here, leaning back and kick. All right, when we lean back, keep your chin tucked in. Okay, if you've got your chin tucked in, you're a lot more balanced. If you head up, you know, it's, uh, you lose your balance very quickly. Okay? So we're here, chin tucked in, oh, there. So leaning our head back out of range, striking forward with a kick. Now, this is an active exercise. So we're gonna be circling as we do it. So we're gonna circle, okay? I call stop, you stop, kick, change direction. Stop, kick. Change direction. As you, as you relax, the hands come down. You hear, kick, boom, your hands come up into guard, and then you change direction, come back again. Nice and loose with the arms, kick, boom, and then you go back. All right, so, shoulders back, chin down, here, as you kick. Circle around, we're going to start off circling to the left, uh, kicking, obviously, with the right first. So you're kicking with your trailing leg first. So head back, kicking in, okay? Get ready. Three, two, one. Go. Kick. 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 Three, two, one, go! Kick! 
Kick. 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 Good. Have a breather. Grab a drink. Breathe. Deep breaths in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Technique two: groundwork. Defending against somebody who is close into you, inside your guard, and getting up. Okay, so this is the situation. Your attacker is in your guard. Maybe you grab hold of them. Okay, they're trying to get up, and so what they're doing is they're pulling their feet, so getting up onto their feet, putting their feet here, and then sort of sticking their bum in the air and pulling their body up with it, okay? So the, well, how the attack would look, so they'd be here, bang, 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 you grab them in, they're in close here. Okay, so what they're trying to do is they're trying to get their foot up here, like this, and you're still grabbing hold of the head, and then whoop, and they get up, okay? So their feet are close to your bum, both of them, all right? So we're in this situation. We grab hold, okay? Pulled in, they stuck a bum in the air, they've got the feet in close. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my hands down, grab hold of the heels, okay, here and like this. All right, so what I'm doing, I'm here, I'm grabbing hold of the heels. If I can get my fingers in behind the heels, so much better. If I can get my fingers underneath, I don't know, the, the, the front part of the jeans or the trousers, that will also work, okay? Best is behind the ankles though. So we're here, there, behind the ankles, and I'm going to bring my legs up here, then I'm going to, boom, like this, and I'm going to smack uh, his knees and his upper thighs with this part of my leg. And as you can see, I'm kind of coming up off onto my shoulders, and I'm kind of pushing my, my body weight towards. Okay, so look, I'm pulling him in here, he gets up onto his feet, both feet close to my bum, Bring my hands around, grab hold of the heels or whatever else I can grab to stop his feet going backwards, and boom. Okay, as he falls in, I can bring myself up, move into strike. Okay, so this position here. Grabbing hold, I've got him in here, he gets up, feet close, hands down behind, legs up, boom. Okay, I've still got his heels, therefore. As his body weight's going backwards, he can't take a step backwards in order to, to, to save himself. So he falls backwards, I can come up here, okay, move in and start striking, okay? If, however, your attacker is perhaps much taller than you, um, another option that you have is you grab hold, they stand up, you grab the ankles, okay? I'm going to bring my heels like this into the hips. Now, if they're there, you know, much bigger in terms of body weight and everything like that, you might want to use, the, you, use this to get more purchase. Your legs are very strong, okay? So here, behind the ankles, up, into the, uh, into the hips, on, there. And then you get up and continue. Now, the second situation is similar to the first. The attacker here is in the guard. Bang, 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 you've grabbed them, you've pulled them in, okay? They're struggling, struggling, struggling. Now they're going to be here, there, and they get up like this. So you've got one foot close, 
one foot behind. So in this situation, you can't grab both ankles. You have to do something slightly different. Because if you've got one step forward and one foot back, even if I grab one ankle and try to do the centre of gravity, he's got that other leg which he can move around freely in order to, uh, in order to get his balance back. So this is what we're going to do. We're here. We've grabbed him in. He gets up, one foot forward, one foot back. We're going to assume the forward foot is here. Okay, just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so he's there and he gets up. Here, I go down, I grab the back of that heel. Okay, what I'm going to do is this, that. Okay, so now I've got the foot that's on the side of, the, of where I'm grabbing the wrist is on the outside of the thigh here. The leg that's longer, I've hooked in behind the knee and I'm going to do a scissors motion with my legs, like this. Okay, so now with me hooking in behind his knee, I'm pulling his knee towards me while pushing away with his opposite hip. What this means is that in the direction that I'm pushing him, he can't move his foot for support. Okay, so imagine it's the other side this time. Okay, so we're here, I've grabbed him, he's pulled up. Okay, so on this side, my left hand here, okay, the, the, the lead foot is forwards, and the other one is behind. So he steps up, I go to grab here, there, this position here, inside of the, uh, of the, of the hip, with the lead leg with the foot closest forward, behind with this one, and pull and push. Okay, down he goes, and then you can come up here and do the same thing and carry on. All right, so uh, that's the, the two options that you've got. If the feet are close, grab hold of both, bang, both legs or driving in uh, to the hips of the feet, or on one foot forwards, then you do your, your, your motion where you're bringing your feet inside the back knee on the front of the lead hip and pull or the other way around and pull. So how are we going to practice this? So with me on the floor, this is all we're going to do. Okay? We're going to practice doing this. We're going to go one, okay, grab both ankles, okay, throw your bum and your legs forwards, okay, high as you can. Number two, hands up here like you're grabbing, Grab the heels and push into the hips, okay? And then we're gonna do three. Now three is when you're grabbing only with your right hand, okay? So you're tucking your left foot in behind the knee, so left foot long, right foot short, and then scissors. Back the other way this time, you're grabbing with the left arm, okay? So this time, grabbing with the left arm, so right foot inside, Left foot close and scissors for four. Okay, so with me, we're going to do one, two, three, four. Okay, so arms up, grab the ankles and one. Okay, arms up, grab the ankles and two. Push with the hips. Okay, this time you're going to grab, grab with your right hand. Okay, so it's left leg long, right leg short. Okay, get ready. So arms up, grab the ankle and three. And push. Other side, this time grabbing with grab the left hand. Okay, so it's right foot long, left foot short. Hands up, grab the ankle and go. Long and short and push. Okay, so let's do it all together. So, hands up, grab the ankles and one. In a relaxed position. Hands up, grab the ankles and two. Okay, hands up, go back with the right hand and push. Hands up, go back with the left hand and push. Lovely. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. Work through one, two, three, four, do that three times, have a little break, and then do it again. Off you go.
and stop there. So back to the active content. We're going to be practicing the, uh, the counter kicking. Generally in the, in the second half of the active content, we're constantly thinking about improving uh, the technique. Okay? So in this position here, we're going to think about getting your balance going as far back as you can to avoid the strike and kicking at the same time. So, we're going to think about qualities. So the first quality, head back, looking towards the target, boom, okay? Really keeping that chin down and getting the body back with every single kick, getting the body back as far as we can. So we're going to be circling here, here, body back, and kick. Okay, so the hands are at sort of a low position. Okay, we're not circling with them in the guard. But as you circle here, as you kick, boom, okay? Body really goes back, chin tucked in, and striking. That's the first quality. Second quality is breathing out. Okay? Make sure you breathe out as you kick. Okay? So you're circling here and kick and it's okay? let the breathing match the motion. If it's fast, hard motion, to fast, hard breath. Okay? Breathing out like that tenses your core and gives you some uh, more stability, more power with what you're doing. Okay? So you're circling here and it's kick. Okay? The guard comes up and you're striking in. So those are just the two things I want you to focus on, okay? Head back, chin down, really get that head back as far as you can as you kick, and breathing out as you kick. Get ready. Three, two, one, go! Kick! Kick! seconds. Keep, keep, keep. 
And stop. Good. Have a breather. Grab a drink. So breathe. Deep breaths in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Self-defense technique. Okay, so this is a defense against a rear choke. Okay, so this is somebody coming behind you here. Boom. Okay, and they might be grabbing hold uh, with, with, their, with their own fist here and, and pulling down, or they might be grabbing around your body and pulling in. But the important part of this is that the forearm is coming directly across your, your throat here. Uh, and crushing your windpipe. So, first thing as always is to make sure that you uh, can breathe. So as the hand comes around, so you've got the right arm coming across the chest here, okay, so their elbow is here, okay, and we're there. So the first things first is I'm going to take my chin here and drop it down towards my left shoulder as deeply as I can, okay. What that does is it changes where my, uh, where my, uh, my, my um, breathing pipe is here, my trachea. Okay, so here as I turn on there, it brings it into the side and brings the side of my neck forward, which hopefully should allow me to breathe better. So as I feel that arm coming over, I'm going to tuck my chin in there. As I do so, I'm also coming up with both hands here and tucking in. All right, so I'm here like this. That's the first motion. Now as I do this, if, I, if his head is here and bang, and I headbutt him at the same time, that's fine and it's good. But that is not the purpose of the technique. The purpose of the technique here of turning the head is to tuck the chin in so that you can breathe, okay? So you're here, there, okay? Second thing is, I'm gonna shift my hips to the right, like so, strike down into the groin with my left hand, and back up again, okay? First motion, second motion, okay? Taking my hips to the side, striking down with my left hand, all right? So we're here, one, two, bang. Now I immediately bring my arm back up again, so I've, I've hooked over the top of his forearm with, my, with, with, uh, with both fingers here, all right, I'm pulling down. This is a very quick here, bang, and then back up again, okay? I've got my chin tucked into the side here, but I'm pulling down, shift and strike, shift and strike, okay? Now when I maybe I feel him do that and I've, and I've struck him well, okay, I'm then going to go down and through. Now, because this is a very difficult situation, I'm gonna go out this way, underneath his elbow. It's very difficult for me to get out of it going this way, okay, because it's very strong. Uh, the motion that he's got here is very strong. I, want to, I need to come out through here, okay? So I'm here. It's technique one, here, one, here. And two, shift the hips to the side, strike, maybe strike again. Right, now I feel that he's loose. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop down here, pulling with this arm, step through my right foot, tuck my head underneath his armpit, I'm gonna come up and pull the arm into here. Okay, so we're here. One, two, bang, and again, two, bang, okay. Going down, pulling down with the arm, keep the arm pulled down, you should come up with it here. Now strike in to the solar plexus with the knee here. Oh. Now here I'm pulling, I've got my, my fingers on, 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 uh, on the forearm here, I'm pulling into my stomach here. Oh. Here I'm striking, bang! Okay. Now, I keep my hands here, I do not change the position of my hands until he looks or feels like he wants to fall. 
At that point, I quickly go over the top here, and then I'm gonna, from here, step forward, and I can do a, I can do a full lock, take it to the floor, or if I rotate fast, I can uh, dislocate the shoulder. Okay, remember, a little more reasonable force. Okay, so uh, if you're in a situation, the, 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 uh, the response that you make uh, should be uh, proportional to the potential attack. Okay, here the potential attack is that he, theoretically he could, uh, to, could kill me, but I don't know that at the time. Okay, so my response has got to be proportionate. If I get into a position and I've struck him in the chest a few times and he's fallen to the floor, dislocating his shoulder out of joint at this point uh, would not be considered lawful. So just something to bear in mind. You can take someone down, you can put them in a control position, you can call the police, that's absolutely fine. But just, as always, bear that in mind. Right, so, we're here. One, there, okay. Two, striking. Three, stepping forward, up into here. Four, striking with the knee, bang. Five, hand on top, okay, into uh, a lock to the floor, all right. So, one more time. The time you're going to go through it with me. So nice and easy, nice and slow. When I say one, you're going to tuck your chin down towards your left shoulder. At the same time, bringing both hands up, fingers on top of the forearm. So we're here. One. There. Now you're going to shift your hips to the right, strike down with the left. Okay. So and again. Bang. All right, so that's two. So start from the beginning again. So one. Two. Good. Now you're going to do is step through your left foot, bend down, come up and pull the forearm to your stomach and strike with the knee. Okay, so back again. So, one, two, three, pull down, step under, pull up. Okay, knee stroke. And again. One, two, three, okay, now we're going to go hand over the top, okay, and four, so, all the way through, one, two, three, four, and again, let's go through on this side, One, two, three, four, and again. One, two, three, four. Okay, so have a practice of that in your own time. Work it through. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, if you're working with a partner, obviously, again, it's always easier because you can see uh, how the motion of your body affects them, particularly when you've got the, the elbow pulled in here and you're rotating, okay? Uh, take it easy, take it slow, visualize what your opponent is doing if you don't have a partner, and think about where their body is. Uh, obviously, when you're here, there, strike more than once, oh, okay? It may be that the first time you do that, you hit, hit the outside of the thigh. So you take your chin in more, bang, and you're going to move your hips even more and strike in, okay? And then down, oh, there, here, and take it down to the floor. All right, so off you go three times all the way through, little break, do it again. Keep it nice and smooth and try and get everything flowing through into one technique. Carry on.
And stop there. Find yourself a space, 20 press ups. And I'm going to When you finish that, thank you for the press ups. If you're left hand side, 50 side crunches. Okay, when you finish that, 20 press ups. Going on the other side, 50 side crunches. Okay, we're going to finish that. Left leg out the front, right leg Okay, so they put leg out, left leg tucked in. Okay, let's start again. <coughs> Left leg in, right leg, tuck behind. Now get your body in space in the middle. Both feet out in front, <coughs> grab all your toes, back straight, and push. Deep breath in, and push.
Deep breath in and push. One more time, deep breath in and push. And relax. Okay, both heels in. Back straight, drag your knees down towards the floor. Over to your right leg, try and get your stomach towards your thigh. Deep breath in and fold. And up, and then the other side. Deep breath in, and fold. Hand in front, one behind, a little bit wider. Okay, right hand underneath the right ankle and over the top. Other side and over the top. And up. Okay, last one. And in front one behind, legs as wide as you can, palms in front, try and get your forearm to the floor if you can. Deep breath in and fold. Deep breath in and fold. Breath in and fold. Deep breath in and fold. And relax. Okay. Legs in the middle. Shake them out. Nice relax. And over the shoulder, 
<laughs> Let me try that again. <coughs> okay, so put your legs that way, feel nice and relaxed. And over your shoulder, up, and into guard. All right, so, hands on your hips, rotating clockwise, and anti-clockwise. Left arm across your body. And right arm across your body. Left arm behind your head. Right arm behind your head. Chin to your chest. Roll your head around. Right ear to right shoulder. Left ear to left shoulder. Chin on your chest. And back the other way. Feet together, bring your knees forwards and backwards. Rotating clockwise and de clockwise. Right toes on the floor. Rotate. Left toes on the floor. Rotate. Left over right. Rotate your wrists. Shake everything around, make sure you're nice and loose. Feet together, hands by your sides. Bow out. Cheers, guys. Good work. Thank you very much.